you. And then matter of Jennifer Decay versus Aiden Kearney. And this is an ex party request for harassment prevention order. I would just ask that you please raise your right hand. Please do so much so the testimony about to give the court the cause now and hearing is this just to help you I do. Right, good afternoon, Ms. McCabe. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm okay. Good. A little nervous. <laughs> All right. Don't be nervous. Uh, just give me one moment, okay? Sure. All right, so you're seeking a harassment prevention order against Mr. Kearney? Yes. All right, um, I have read your affidavit. I am somewhat familiar um, with the larger picture, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you tell me, you can tell me anything you'd like, but explain to me what, what it is you're asking the court to do and why. Well, I'm asking for protection um, from Mr. Kearney. He has started um, about April 14, 18th. Um, he's nonstop. He writes blogs um, every day, and every day he, he tries to humiliate me, harass me. Um, most recently, he chased me out of a court hearing um, and prevented me from walking, had a big camera. He um, was harassing me, intimidating me. I was fearing. I didn't know what he was going to do next. He chased me to my car. He was calling me a cop killer. When, when you say chase, did he? follow you? Or? Yes, he followed okay. me out of the court and down the street a significant way. There were other press and reporters at that Yes, event. he yeah. actually, I actually have a thumb drive okay. with a lot of this sure. um, for you to be able to see, um, okay. but he, vid he videoed the whole thing and then he showed it on all his social media platforms and then he proceeded to, you know, um, post, this is a cop killer, she's a cop murderer. And then on that um, post that he did, he said that he wasn't going to stop. He was going to harass me every day. He was going to go to my children's events. Has he done that? Um, no, he has not done that yet. Right. He has emailed, um, I have two daughters in college and he's um, emailed the school. Well, I don't know, someone has emailed the schools okay. and they've attached his blog I understand what so you're his yeah. he has a significant amount of followers, okay. and he does his live shows. And I have received uh, terrible threats from phone calls. I get uh, voicemails. I get uh, Facebook messengers from his followers. So j just so I'm clear, not necessarily from him. He called me once. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and that call was did he? It was you? a voicemail. No, okay. he just had questions. All right, just and I just want to make mm -hmm. sure we're talking about the same. Yeah. So you may have gotten some other things from maybe people who follow him. Yes, but not him. Correct. Okay, understood. Um, but ahead. as of, you know, today, you know, he again posted um, that he was going to make my mm -hmm. life a hell. He wasn't going to stop. Um, he would come to, again, he, he's constantly saying he's going to come to events. Um, he's calling me horrific names. Um, he made T-shirts to humiliate me and my appearance. Okay. And he's selling them for profit. I don't, I literally wake up every single day and I don't know what he's going to write, who's going to, he parked outside of my house and he did a live feed and he threatened that he would be coming back. My kids are having panic and so, anxiety so attacks. Broadcasted from your street, mm -hmm. not on your property, but from your on area. the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understood. He's given my address, my husband's social security. It's just nonstop. My kids are seeing everything all over social media. They're having panic attack at schools, and I have to come and pick them up. All right. Is there anything else you want me to consider? That Is you there told me any already? way yeah. that he, you can do something so he can't blog about me? Well, no, and that's kind of the crux of where I'm about to go with this. Yeah. Um, in, under the request you're asking me. A significant portion, I believe, of what you're telling me is essentially protected free speech under right. the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you can appreciate it. He is mm -hmm. a, a quote-unquote member of the press. Um, probably not the message you were hoping to hear. No, I understand. But, um, so that's kind of where my ruling is heading mm -hmm. based on everything you've told me. And mm -hmm. I, I know it could be upsetting to you and your family. Um, but I have to be honest, I, I'm not inclined to issue the order mm -hmm. for that reason. Um, if there's anything else that you want me to look at or consider, I'm happy to do it. If you've kind of given me the flavor of what this has been like, mm -hmm. I do appreciate it. And you went to great lengths to write a very detailed affidavit. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, you know, I would need to find, by a preponderance of the evidence, a mm -hmm. substantial likelihood of the immediate danger of abuse 
as defined by the law because mm -hmm. of the free speech issues and his status in the press. I'm just not getting there. Okay, so him facts. like chasing me out of court and intimidating me. Yeah, I mean, well, that's why yelling. I asked you that. Yeah, I kind of asked you that question. And you said, yeah. chased. I, I know there was probably a throng of other press people in the no, quarters. They'd never. There. He came down the street, walked in front of me, was saying terrible, nasty things, yeah. then walked behind me, then followed me to my car. I mean, it was a good distance. Yep. I couldn't even make it across the street because he was in front of me. He was bumping into my husband. Then we're getting into our car and he's yelling, cop killer, cop killer. I didn't know if he was going to come over to my car. I don't know what this man's going to do. Right. He seems to be getting more and more agitated every day and saying he's going to do things. Then I see live video outside of him outside of my house and telling me he'll be back. Well, what I will say to that is, and I'm not wishing that this escalates in any way, shape or form, mm -hmm. but just because an event today comes before the court and the court rules one way, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that if there is a change in circumstances that you can't come back and ask the court to consider it mm -hmm. in the future. I'm just not hearing enough of what I would need to hear under the law for me to do what you're asking today. Okay. Okay. I hope I explain. I hope I explain that well mm -hmm. enough to you. Um, and the thumb drive that I prepared. Yeah. I you... mean, you, you can certainly tell me. Is it things that one would see on his uh, news or his page? Yes. Things of that nature, mm -hmm. kind of like you've described in your affidavit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy to have that be part of the record. I think mm -hmm. I get the flavor again of what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. um, and again, his association as a member of the press really doesn't change sort of where. I'm going with my ruling. Okay. Um, but I'm certainly happy to include that as part okay. of the record if you want. Okay. All right? Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much. So that will conclude the hearing. I'm going to decline your okay. request to issue.